Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, everyone, wherever you're watching. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to be the sweatiest tryhard in GTA 5 Online. You would sweat so much that you could provide water for a small country, for a small town. That's how sweaty you will be. It will allow you to kill anyone and everyone, just as long as you use these ten simple tricks. Now, before we get into this, I want to say a huge thank you to my friend Jake. He helped me out a lot with this, and I know it can be stressful when you're getting killed, but he also gets to kill me, so thank you, and hope you enjoy the video. Now, the essentials is body armor, armored kruma, the assault rifle, and the assault shotgun, explosives such as the RPG, homing launcher, proximity mines, and um, sticky bombs, and there's also snipers, so marksman rifle, and either heavy sniper or the normal sniper, depending on what you've unlocked. And lastly, the Combat MG. Now, I won't really go over the body armor and armor Kuruma because I'll be going over them later in this video, but just know that the body armor will allow you to take a lot more extra hits to your body, and the armored Kuruma is a great drive-by um, car as it has four seats for you and your friends, and it's completely bulletproof and it's very agile as well. Now, for the assault guns, the assault rifle, you can unlock at the very early um, level, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it is great, it's got a good fire rate, there are better guns in it, but just because how easy it is to obtain and you can uh, upgrade it too, it's very good, it's powerful and it can shoot fairly far away. I would definitely recommend it over the other ones and I believe it is cheaper as well. Also as an assault gun is the assault shotgun. This gun may be my favourite gun in the game, I would probably rank it second, but it's, an, it's a shotgun, it's got the best fire rate out of all the shotguns I believe. Um, it, it's very good in like missions as well, as you can take out enemies that are close to you, and you just have to simply camp around the corner and then you shoot them and when they get near you can just spam the trigger as it has a great fire rate as well. Next up is the explosives. I would definitely recommend the homing launcher as it locks onto um, aircrafts and it can also be used as an RPG. However, the RPG is better to aim at people when like when they're around a corner and you can't really shoot them with a normal gun. Um, I would definitely recommend getting the proximity mine as you can just throw it on the ground if someone's chasing you and it would blow up when they drive past it. And the sticky bomb is great as if you are chasing someone from behind and you need to throw it in front of them to kill them. Next is the snipers. First of all, you must have the Martin sniper, sorry, as I would go over it later in the video, but it's got such a good fire rate, you can hold the trigger and it's got lots of ammo too, so it's great if you just um, need to move around side to side. And also, I would recommend the heavy sniper, but if you can't afford it or you're not high level, get the other sniper below it. It does just as good as the job, but it's not a one shot kill depends on how low the health is so I would also get that for like situations if a car's driving by and you need to snipe them or if they're far away and they don't know you're there. Lastly is the Combat MG. Now this has a further range than the assault um, rifle so I'll definitely recommend it and it also does more damage but the downside of it is it doesn't have the greatest accuracy so sometimes it will miss but when you can't lock on with your assault rifle you definitely want to use the combat mg as it may be able to lock onto them and if you can't you can just always use a sniper but the combat mg even if you want to use it instead of the assault rifle when they're close it will definitely do much more damage and it will i think it's better against body armor too Now just in case you don't know where to buy all these guns and body armor from, you just have to go to ammunition and to equip it, all you have to do is go into your inventory, go into body armor and then just equip it and super heavy armor will fill out your body armor straight away but if you don't you can just click it twice on heavy armor. Snacks are also good as you can use them in the car if like you don't want to shoot behind it if you want to focus on just driving and it's great to regenerate your health quickly. The only car that you need in this game, and I would recommend, is the Armored Kuruma. 
it is the it is fully armored and to get it all you have to go is onto your phone or laptop and go into southern southernjs.com it can be found in the car the travel and transport and then you go into filter list this will be the fastest way to get it and go into four door i know i accidentally pressed two but you go into four door and it will just come up at the top and it can be brought for five hundred twenty five thousand. And with upgrades, you don't really need to change the color. It may be, it will cost around maybe 650 grand, but it's definitely worth it. It's great for missions. It's very fast. It's not the fastest car as it's heavy as well, but it's quite agile and it can cut around corners. It's, it's not really shown this gameplay, but trust me, it does. And it's fully bulletproof, so you can like run over people with it. And yeah. Now in this test I'm going to be shooting my body, look as you can see I shoot in many different angles and it doesn't happen to kill him and there is one certain place in the car that does kill them but it takes extreme accuracy to do so and a good strategy to kill like people that are trying to shoot you is um just run them over and then you can quickly shoot them or keep them running them over but just be careful you have to do it quickly as they will if, as if they use one explosive against you you will blow up but it is very hard to hit it as well as it's quite fast. So it's a good way to kill people by just running them over. Now the bulletproof helmet, I was going to put it down as an essential, but some people don't really like it. So in order to get it, you go to your new, nearest clothes store, go to hats, and then um, it scroll to the bottom and it will have a section of bulletproof helmets. And to equip it, you just save as an outfit or you can just go into the interactive menu. Now as you can see, it took about three bullets in order for me to get killed. So, and now without it, no matter how much body armor you have on, it um, it will kill you straight away. Now, um, I be even though it was close range, I do think that it will take about four bullets if you're like far away from your enemy. So keep that in mind, it's not always three bullets. Now the homing launcher is a great way to kill any flying past um, uh, aircraft equipment such as C as I just shot this buzzer even though it wasn't doing any damage to me and then I'm not sure if I killed him but I definitely made him jump out but it says in little excess I killed him so it's a great way to troll and stuff. Now if your enemy is far away and you can't snipe them you can always use a um, RPG or homing launcher all you need to do is check where they are and then quickly change to um, uh, explosive and then just shoot and you can just kill them straight away and then run off now I always recommend um, having full um, sticky bombs and um, proximity mines as they are great to use in cars you should never really use um, um, guns unless you're in the passenger seat but you just need to just simply throw them and try and stick them onto the car or you can even blow them up with the left on d-pad before you um, kill them so it's just easily easy to kill them without having to focus on them that much so well, this strategy is good if you are very low on health and you're about to die and you kill your opponent or even before you die if you have time kill yourself and then they won't get the kill but what you need to do is if you're on low house kill yourself and then pause it and try and find out where they spawn so you know where to look for next time so as you can see I um, I kill him but I'm on low health so I kill myself and then um, and then I pause it to see where he spawns unfortunately he didn't spawn quick enough so it didn't really work out this way but you guys can get the idea to see like which way to look In order not to get shot by your opponent, you need to move left and right quickly. But when you're in third person, as you can see, you don't really move that fast enough. So what you need to do is go in your first person, and then when you move left to right, it'll be instant. And you need to use the marksman rifle, and you can just spam down the trigger, uh, and it's easier to kill them, as you don't need to focus on them and stand still, and it's easier to, because then you don't need to multitask that much, so it's just an easier kill. So you just need to focus on shooting and that will definitely run into it instead of you having to aim. So try this technique and you will definitely be a better sniper in the future.
Now, in order to be a good try hard, you need to take advantage of your contacts. So, um, a good strategy is to call Leicester and get off the radar for one minute. However, if you're a CEO, you do have the option to um, go ghost for your entire organization and and um, then it lasts for three minutes as well. So, a good strategy is if you're versing a, um, someone on the ground, you can just put an explosive and then either run them over and blow yourself up. Or if they're in a car, you can do what I'm about to do now and just tail them and then blow them up like that. So that's a good way to kill people as well. As your enemy does not know that you are coming towards them as you are not on the radar for them to see. Um, Bullshark testosterone is a drug that allows you to do more damage and all you need to do to obtain it is you call Brucey and um, he will drop it near your location for $500. Um, it isn't that um, convenient but if you have time to run and get it, it's, it can be great to kill your opponent. Um, and if you're a CEO, you can drop it directly in front of you for um, only $500 extra and you don't have to run and go get it. And as you can see, it does extra damage to your bullets and it is, doesn't really show in this test but trust me if you're using something like an assault rifle it will kill them like in maybe three shots instead of four or five if you're far away and pistols aren't really the greatest way to show it but here we go and takes about 18 shots with a pistol from close remember from close and just to kill you so that can be very um good that can be very useful and as soon as you die you do run out but this is a very useful trick, so I would definitely recommend using Bullshark Testosterone not to die. Um, rolling is when it does not allow you to lock onto um, them. As you can see, he rolls now and it makes me lock off to him. So when you roll second, um, it will allow you not to be able to get locked on because once you, after you roll, you can just lock onto your opponent straight away. So use this tip and then you will be able to lock onto your opponent before they can lock onto you. As you can see, this is a bad cover spot as my head is exposed and when I move around, too much of my body gets exposed so I can be easily shot. But if you use something to camp around the corner, you can't get shot unless you expose yourself. It's a good way just to wait for them to come to you instead of you having to come to them. And you can just wait for them to show yourself. And um, cover will be easier for you to lock onto them as you don't need to run around and you can test out if you can um, if you range is long enough and I also recommend to take high vantage points this isn't a good this is not a good example but whenever there's a ladder use it as your opponent may think you're on the footpath or something and they will try and shoot you but uh, but obviously you'll be on the top so it'd be weird for them and they won't know where you are so it's a great way to get easy kills so I'd just like to thank you for watching this video and if you want to watch another you can click on the little annotations here. So thank you so much again and I'll see you in the next one hopefully.